Today we thank the Creator for giving us this beautiful day. We ask the Creator to open our hearts so that the words that we'll be uttering will always will always hear. We've talked about humanity's relationship to the earth, which is very closely related to crisis of the spirit. And we've talked about how that phrase spirituality might be different from religion. Yes, there is a crisis of the spirit. Yes, it is up to us people of spirit to lead during this crisis. As a practicing curious Buddhist environmentalist, I discovered Green Faith as an interfaith organization founded in 1993 that cared about the planet. Green Faith's mission meshed completely with my sense as a teenager that the world's peoples are one species and each of us is important and unique. The thought that I would have much to add in matters of the spirit in the same conversation as Albert is, uh, is again very humbling. Because we live in Mi'kma'ki is to follow the teachings of our hosts, the Mi'kmaq and folks like Albert, and to try to live up to the peace and friendship treaties that my ancestors and his ancestors uh, agreed to centuries ago. To draw the places uh, where you get support or find refuge in times of crisis. Can you bring it a bit closer to the camera? It's not, it's, yeah, it's, it's just mostly uh, my, I get empowered from nature. Mm -hmm. I get empowered from sitting, having my meditation practice every day. It seems like that's pretty, that's pretty important to me to start the day that way. And reading spiritual writings and also dialoguing with friends. It's, it's my way of staying, um, staying grounded and clear and connected. The forestry companies were hovering to clear cut these hundreds of acres that had been sustainably forested. Jim and Margaret Drescher moved from Halifax out there and became stewards of the land. Jim forested it and Margaret organically farmed it and they created a retreat center called Windhorse Farm. Right now, Jim and Margaret are well into their 70s and they're actively working with Ulnaweg to return title of the land to the Mi'kmaq. The circle reminds me that in my culture, just like the circle, no beginning, no end. Like the circle, there are no hierarchy, no such thing as superiority. Everything was done on a spirit of consensus. Um, Lily, would you like to go next? Um, I guess, I mean, it's probably building on what a lot of others have said, but I think one of the biggest pieces to foster compassion and action is um, to listen to people's stories, to continue learning. Um, and I think that's a big piece, too, of continued engagement. It's what I've been thinking about lately a lot. So I don't know if you can see this or not. So um, I've been thinking about interdependence a lot, interconnectedness, and then I was thinking about it in terms of not just climate change, but in terms of society that the elements are, are out of balance because they're not just physical, they could be, um, they're also psychological aspects of who we are. A word that encompasses all that wonderful thing. And that's some certain We consider every living thing as, as our relative. That's why we, we use that word in certain ogma. And that's pretty much used mostly now in, uh, at the end of any, any ceremony, like a sweat lodge, etc., and all that stuff. The words of this song mean, behold how good and pleasant it is for people to dwell together in unity. He